Yeah, we've been working on that for a minute. <laughs> Good job, Bumper. But what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a pretty fun video in store. I bought something, okay? I, I bought something. I've been actually been looking for one of these for the longest. Because I needed a good one and I finally found the one I wanted. I was like, you know what? It was on sale. I'm getting it. I bought probably one of the coolest tents I've ever seen. And today we're going to be unboxing it and going outside and actually setting it up. So that way I can get a feel for the thing, you know? But I didn't want to just take it out camping instantly. What if they forgot something in the box or I didn't know how to set it up? I want to see how hard it is to set up. And also, I want to check out some of the features that come with it. Because when I tell you this is one of the coolest tents I've ever seen, bro, it really is. All right, so here we go. I got this tent about a week ago at Academy. And I have been itching to show y'all this thing and to actually unbox it to see it in real life. Like, I'm so excited, bro. I plan on doing some crazy trips where we go for like a week, maybe two weeks at a time. So I've needed this for a while. And here she is. Boom. So it's called a Grand Ponderosa. I guess that's how you say that. Tent. 14 foot long, 10 foot wide. And then I think it's... 80 inches tall so that's like six six or six seven i don't know i'm not great at math which that is perfect that's exactly what i was looking for when i was looking for these tents because i'm six three and i've never owned a tent that i could stand up in like i've always ever bought like the cheap hikers tents or like those little like three man dome tents so when i decided i was actually going to spend a decent amount of money on a good tent I wanted to make sure I had room to stand up in, you know, actually be comfortable in. So there it kind of shows you, if everybody slept in sleeping bags, you could fit 10 people in here, bro. That's the size of it. It's a 10 person tent. Or you can fit two queen air mattresses and one twin air mattress. That's actually insane. Like now that I think about it, two queen size air mattresses is already big enough, but now you're throwing one more twin in there, bro. That's, that's ridiculous. But now let's get to some of the cool stuff. Some of the features. So of course it has a mesh roof, zippered windows, but this is something I've seen that I've never seen before. Floor vents for maximum ventilation. So right here, this is what it's gonna look like, by the way. Right there, those are floor vents. When I first seen that, I was like, wait a minute, does this thing got AC or something? Cause my house, like look at this. Bam, my house has floor vents. I was like, what the heck? I was about to move out here and just start living in the tent. I've never seen that in a tent before, so I thought that was pretty dope. And then it has color-coded pole system for easy setup. So all the poles you need to set the tent up, they're all going to be color-coded to make it just easier for us. Which, not to brag or anything, but I've always been pretty decent at setting up tents anyways. But hey, I'll take all the help I can get. Next, it has raised floor seams and fully seam-sealed rain fly to help keep the interior dry. So, like, as y'all can see, again, I'll show y'all once we actually set the actual thing up. But down here, the, like, the bottom of the tent comes up probably about six inches just to help keep, like, whatever water runs into it if it rains or something. Just to help keep that out of the tent. Now, this last feature is probably the weirdest one and the most exciting because, like, I don't know what it's going to be. It has potential to be really awesome or also, like, super disappointing <laughs> but the last feature it shows is a tablet entertainment center allows for on-the-go viewing now i see the words entertainment center i instantly think of like something like this so it's either gonna be super dope in there or it's just like a little thing that like holds your tablet so you can like put it up on the wall something like that again we'll see once we actually unbox this and get it out but i was like bro what it has an entertainment center this thing's better than my house then the last thing that completely sold me on the tent is it has built-in lights it has an integrated light system that runs off of i think triple a batteries integrated lights it has a large interior for expansive headroom again another selling point this is basically everything i wanted in a tent plus some floor vents and an entertainment center <laughs> but i was searching for one of these for weeks and then i ended up getting covid and got sick and couldn't really go out and look at anything but as soon as my quarantine period was up i went to academy and found this one on sale so originally it was 159.99 kind of expensive but also on the cheaper side already when it comes to 10 man tents I mean, you bro, you look at some of these, they're like three, four hundred dollars. Definitely not gonna spend that, but this was the last one and it was on sale for $130. So I got like 30 bucks off. It was the last one. I was like, I can't pass up on it, bro. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. And y'all are gonna see a lot of this thing, bro. Like I said, I got a lot of plans to go on different trips and different places, taking Margaret, Anna, maybe some buddies. Like this is perfect because you can bring anybody you want and there's gonna be enough room. Ain't that right, Margaret? Huh? I mean, they're right, puppy. Hang on, hang on, come on. Show them your teeth. Show them your teeth. Show, show them your teeth. <laughs> show them your teeth. Damn it. <laughs> she ain't gonna do it. So yeah, that is the tent. I'm excited, bro. I'm ready to go outside and actually get it set up and see it in person. I'm wondering how hard it's gonna be because like, I've, I, you know, I've set up multiple tents in my life. I've never had color coded anything. So like, is that them saying, hey, we're helping you out because this is super difficult to set up? 
or it's like, hey, it's already pretty easy. We made it even easier with color-coded uh, poles. I'm excited. That's enough talking. Let's get outside and let's get to setting up the tent. Boom. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. First time opening up the new tent. Oh. Let's go. Instructions. <laughs> We got a box. <laughs> All right, let's see here. See, one of the tricks to like buying a tent and keeping a tent like really nice and like treating it well is once you get it, you know, taken out and set up and everything and you go camping and then you're ready to come home. The trick to it is getting it back into the bag without just like shoving it in there. That's always the hardest part. Bam. All right. All right, so here's our poles. Boom. There's some stakes. Not like ribeyes. <laughs> and here's something. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I think this might be the thing that goes outside. Maybe. I don't know. And here is some of the things that go inside to put some stuff in. And that looks like the rain fly. And then there's the tent. All right. I was totally expecting there to be a lot more stuff in here. Like a bunch of different bags of just randomness. But it's not really. You know, there's... Oh, okay. So this is actually the lights. Like this is this hangs up in the middle. Right there, it has an on and off. That's dope. Okay. Oh, this is the rain fly. Okay, I thought this was the tent. Oh, Okay, like I said, I've never owned a tin man or a big tent like this, so this is a uh, this is actually quite confusing. I'm right, gonna roll this thing out, see what we're working with. I'm also gonna try to like remember how all this went in and was like together, so that way I can try to put it back as similar as it came. <laughs> this thing is huge. Oh. Bruh, this thing is massive. This low key might be the biggest tent I've ever seen. Oh. oh. Bruh, this thing is huge. I don't know how well y'all can tell on camera, but. Bro, this thing is massive. Definitely uh, underestimated this. Definitely, bro. This is dope. Bro, this is like a house. Oh my God. Okay, this is gonna be difficult to put together. I can already tell. Especially by myself. Anna, she might be home here soon, so she might be able to help me. Wait a minute. She literally just pulled in. I'm that good. <laughs> so here's the floor vents right here. Oh, okay, so they have a screen. I was wondering if it was just like wide open, but no, there is a screen there to prevent some bugs from crawling in. Yo, this thing is huge, bro. I'm coming. Hi. <laughs> Your mom's home. Mom's home. <laughs> see how big his dang tin is? I see it. This thing's huge. What in the world? I'm gonna try to put it up. By yourself? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I was. I literally just said, I was like, this is going to be hard to put up by myself. Anna should be on her way home. And maybe she'll help me. And then as soon as I said that, I heard you pull in. Will I help you? Yeah, let me go put my stuff <laughs> Let me change out of these jeans first because it's way too hot for yeah. jeans. Why yeah, I know. I, I was like, all right, let's go set this tent up. And that was like six hours ago. I was like, yeah, we're definitely waiting until the sun's at least going down. Yeah. Because I'm in, I'm in black. It's it's toasty out here. You're telling me I'm in jeans and a long sleeve. <laughs> All right, so let's see what these these poles look like. They're supposed to be color coordinated. So. Sheesh. And they are. So we got monster big old black ones. And then like a, a whitish, grayish color, and then a yellow color. Bro, that, that's all the poles? I feel like there should be so many more poles, but I get I, it might be easy. I don't know. Definitely gonna have to read over the old uh, the old owner's manual here. I'm already sweating. 
Okay. That one. So like the smooth level site. Nope. This yard, my yard is not level at all. So they want you to go ahead and just put together all the poles and set them out. All right, we can do that. And boom, there we go. That was extremely easy. Let's see, we got two, four, six black poles, two white poles, and one yellow pole. That's it. Unless we're missing something super important, that's all the poles we got. So maybe this isn't gonna be too difficult. I don't know. I just don't understand how this many poles is gonna put that big old thing up. I don't know. I will say, like I said, this is like the most expensive tent I've ever bought. You can tell with the poles. You know, normally you buy those little cheap dome tents or whatever. The poles, they're put together with just like a rope that kind of holds them together. And it takes a while to put the poles together. These literally like the rope inside of it's so tight. It's almost like a spring that like quick loads the freaking poles together. It's nice, bro. You can definitely tell the quality. It's well worth the money. So yeah, I guess next step was read some more instructions and see where we go from here. All right, so step number two, begin with the middle roof pole, number D which is the yellow pole. Secure pole inserted into the ends of the ribbed side of the plastic center elbow connector hub. Yellow, yellow color coded, so let's grab old yeller here. Yeah, this is confusing as hell. Oh, okay. Oh, yellow tape. Gotcha, 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 okay. I was looking for like a yellow piece of tent that'd be that'd make it a lot easier but now they just put yellow tape on okay step number two done so the whole color-coded thing it's yellow pole into this with the yellow tape on it at least i think so that's what i'm i'm assuming because there's also black poles here with yellow tape on it what do you think i think i just got here <laughs> all right i, I we're, we're going with it that's why i think that's well, I think step number whatever is. Next up, take the gray roof poles. C. Okay, so those. Just slide them into their sleeves across the roof of the tent. Gray color coded. Well, so these are color coded too? Huh? I'm pretty sure I know where these go though. These are just like any other tent. They go across. Yeah. I was gonna say, is that gray? I can't tell. Why is this thing so large? I don't know, it's huge. It's a 10 person. It's literally a house. We are two people. <laughs> yeah, but there's room <laughs> for activity. This, this wasn't that. supposed to be a tutorial on how to put this thing up, but it's turning into it. I'm really helping a lot, aren't I? Yep. Stay in there and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> What's that strap? <laughs> All right, well, the tent is stretching. <laughs> All right, step number whatever. Got the gray poles put in these things. I, I'm guessing that's where they go. That's the only thing that makes sense. Where it's going now. It's not exactly color coded. I guess there should have been something gray on these, but all right, those poles done. Now we just got these six black ones. And somehow with those six poles, this thing's gonna turn into a tent. How? I don't know. Me either. But apparently that's how it works. So let's get it. I wanna stand in the middle so bad and push it up. Yeah, I know. It will it'll, it'll come, it will come. Right now, it's giving it the old downward dog. All right, so next up, blah, 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 blah. Gotcha. All right. All right, let's do it. Goes into this thing right here. Then it comes out to the corner. Okay, this it's kind of starting to look like a tent. Oh, yeah, she's coming together now. Yeah, she is definitely coming together now. Yeah, get in there and hold the middle up. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of you. Well, it's definitely taller than I am. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Boom. Shoot. What the hell? And then, hang on, there's two more. Wait, ain't Megan. Bam! This thing is massive. Oh, where'd that go? Right there. 
Oh, gotcha. Last pole. This was so easy, honestly. Like, it's just confusing because it's new and I had to read the instructions. But, like, now that I know, this is probably the easiest thing I think I've ever set up. Bam! Put all these things on here. This thing is huge. Cheese and rice. All right, well, I don't think, I'm not going to put everything else together. This is pretty much the tent right here. So, <laughs> but here we go. Let's go in. Boom. We ain't Maggie. You love it? No. Well, she does. That's a lie. <laughs> she does. Look at this. I'm literally standing up in a tent right now. This never happens, bro. Look at this. This thing is massive. Look. I'm on one side. Here's Margaret. Sheesh. There's so much room. What do you think, Maggie? Huh? <laughs> oh, you have to zoom in! <laughs> get out, you're a ribbon. Cheese and rice. You crazy. Nah, get out of here. Go. Come on, let's go. go Come on. on. Get go. out. You psycho. You excited? You love the new tent? You like it? I do. It's nice. I did figure out that the, so I was looking at it, the entertainment center is literally just a thing that holds like a tablet or something. So it's not like a, it's not nothing crazy. And then the lights, the built-in lights is literally just a thing that hangs right here. And has lights on it. Yeah, I thought I thought it at least like go all the way through. I thought but, it was like a rope light. Yeah, me too. But no, it's literally just that box thing, which it's still built in, I guess. You just have to put it on. But yeah. it's not built in. Yeah, they the uh, the clickbaiter got clickbaited. Oh. They got me. They got oh. me. These these windows. They're huge. Yeah, but they they look they look kind of jank. You can't but, see out the window. But like. I feel like there needs to be something up here. I don't know. I feel like it needs like a lip right here. Just to make sure nothing gets in. Yeah. I don't know. I like it though. Maggie does too. Look at her. You like it, Maggie? She already had the zoomies in here once. What do you think? We'll go get in the pool. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Maggie. Please do it. Come on, let's go. So there's the floor vents. So those are those are gonna be really nice once it gets super hot in here like i feel like it's something that a lot of people wouldn't think like would help that much but just having that little bit of ventilation is probably gonna help a lot but bro i like it here's the little pocket where you can oh it actually has velcro on it usually in just like the like the little dome tent it's literally just a hole in the tent where bugs can crawl through and all that that's where the extension cord can come in so you can have power in here then here's like a little just a little thing to hold everything i guess yeah, that's nice. But here it is, bro. The new tent, bro. It was a, a lot a lot easier to put together than I was expecting. And it's honestly a lot bigger than I was expecting to. Like, bro, I've never been in a tent this big before. Like, it's just definitely glamping at this point. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing is what you put your tablet in, I'm thinking. And then again, like I showed y'all earlier, these are the lights. So they hang. So this hangs up right up here. And it has that little power switch right there. It's not what I was really expecting, but I'm sure it's gonna be plenty. Like to actually have lights in here where you don't have to like buy a lantern or something to hang up in here, it's gonna help a lot. All right guys, so it's extremely dark outside, but I've already took down the tent. But I left this thing out. This is the lighting system. Cause I wanted to show y'all just how bright the lights actually were. So I threw some batteries in the thing. Let's see. Three, two, hang on, one. I mean, it's not terrible. It's going to give off a lo some light in the uh, inside of the tent. It's going to do really well. It's going to be just enough for you to actually see in there at night. So I like it, bro. I really do. It's not super bright by any means, but hey, it'll work. Then also this net thing, you can put stuff in up top. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for setting up the new tent, bro. It's it's pretty much everything I expected. The lights, kind of a disappointment. I thought it was actually going to have like lights throughout the whole thing, but hey, you can only get so fancy tent camping. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Should we do anything to it? Should we like waterproof it? I was thinking about buying like there's a can of like the waterproofing spray that you can just spray on it. I was thinking about doing that. So y'all let me know down in the comments and y'all let me know some places where you want to see us go and take this thing and actually go camping me and maggie should be taking it here pretty soon to go camping so y'all stay tuned for that but thank you guys so much for watching this is jt and i'm out